Hello, and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Wednesday, February 24th, 2016 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi, and our energy mantra for today is, the universe reveals its magic to me, through me. And today we've recovered, we've made it through our first revolution evolution of Sun in Pisces. And hopefully it was a little bit gentle than usual because we're learning to surrender. We're learning to find that flow. We're releasing resistance with the sun in Pisces. And hopefully we released a lot with that big full moon in Virgo on Monday. So the moon is finishing up in Virgo this morning and it's finishing up by connecting to Mars in Scorpio, which is an awesome start to the day. It's actually like a really good productive start to the day, um, which is going to kind of wane off as the moon goes void, but this is a good time. If you wake up in the morning excited, eager, ready to embrace the day, tune into any passion energy, anything that's like drawing you in, that's asking you to give a little time to it, whether it's even just a little time to thought or time um, envisioning it in your life, give a little time to your passions because that's going to just start your day off in a nice way. The moon is then going to go void as it shifts, it's gonna shift into Libra, and there's not gonna be any more aspects until after midnight. Um, moon in Libra is so interesting. Moon in Libra is where we are invited to attune to the vibration of beauty, the vibration of our talents. Uh, Rumiverse, let the beauty you love be what you do. So it's where we attune to that energy, but it can also attune us to where we may not think of ourselves as beautiful, where we see flaws. You know, there's in anything, there's, you know, there's both sides. So if we see the beauty, sometimes we can see the other side of it. And we as humans are not always trained to see the beauty in, in the flaws. And what came through, such a beautiful message, like really beautiful, was in this energy, as we're releasing resistance, one of the ways you can release resistance is Take it back to you. Libra energy is relationship. It always starts with the relationship with yourself. And what if you look at what you once thought of as unlovable in yourself and see how it actually makes you lovable? None of us are here perfect. None of us are here without flaws. Um, I know a beautiful Sagittarius who does a talk about flip your flaws. And this is basically that kind of energy. If you can take the most unlovable parts of yourself and see the beauty in them, then you will be fully utilizing this Libra moon. And what's really beautiful is the moon after midnight is going to connect to Pluto and Uranus. So you may be setting in motion some nice little shifts that can take place in your sleep. If you actually just take a little conscious time to bring the lovable into some of the places in you that want that kind of healing. I also want to mention that we still have this kind of like, yeah, it's not exact, but it's working with those energies of the physical body in Virgo, the Jupiter energy and the North Node energy that's right there. So we're still going to be working with that and we still have Mercury feeding in, so our mind can really help us in honoring and tuning into our body. And then Uranus, which tunes us into the I am vibration, but also tunes us into like downloads <laughs> and our nervous system. Your nervous system might be giving you some signals to what you need. So really listen, honor your body. Um, I'm going to do my roomy poem before I show you the cards because it's roomy oracle. So I was like, I want a roomy thing because I just think roomy is so Pisces. And I opened it up and I was like, no way, this is so perfect for what I said. This is how a human being can change. There's a worm addicted to eating grape leaves. Suddenly he wakes up call it grace, whatever. Something wakes him and he's no longer a, wor a worm. He's the entire vineyard and the orchard too, the fruit, the trunks, the growing wisdom and joy that doesn't need to devour. Um, when it's cold and raining, you are more beautiful. I can't explain the goings or the comings. You enter suddenly and I am nowhere again inside the majesty. So I just, that poem was so perfect because it's like, you know, I think sometimes as humans, we think of ourselves as these lowly beings, these worms, you know, as it is. And then suddenly you wake up to the grace, to the loveliness, to the light inside you. You love the unlovable. And suddenly, no matter what the conditions, 
you recognize the divine in you. So that was the roomie. So the cards, exhaustion. <laughs> I think this might be for um, the time as the moon is shifting. I get so tired during void moons. So if you can honor that space and give yourself a little downtime, a little meditation, a little centering, that'll be really beautiful. The centering will also serve you with the conditioning card. And I believe in GPS, I think Nicole pulled the conditioning card for the moon in Libra. And I think this is about, this alone time and this conditioning is really about getting into the relationship you have with yourself, the relationship you have with your divine self, your relationship that you have with God in you, as you, and shifting it so that you're taking off these old masks, these old sheep masks, and recognizing who you are. But the universe is recommending a little alone time to do that. In Libra, we can get very social, we wanna connect, but the universe is like, hey, connect here first, and then suddenly you're connected all out there. So that's it for today. Have a beautiful Wednesday. If you'd like more information, book a reading. I am happy to dive into your chart with you, and have a beautiful day. Namaste.